we're back again with another comparison. This time it's between Apple Music and Amazon Music, two of the largest music streaming services out there. These two platforms are titans in the industry, each boasting huge libraries, unique features, and passionate fan bases. But which one reigns supreme? That's what I'm here to tell you. Okay, let's go straight in by looking at the library and the content. Both Apple Music and Amazon Music offer massive libraries, like I said before, with millions of songs catering for almost every single genre and taste imaginable. Apple Music leans towards more of mainstream selection, so pop music, latest stuff, while Amazon Music shines in the vast category of classical and niche music. Apple Music takes the crown though for exclusive content because of course they're such a massive organization and they've signed exclusivity deals with so many artists featuring original shows, artist interviews and live performances. Amazon Music counters that with podcasts of course a huge draw for some listeners. Ultimately the library winner depends on your musical preferences and it's worth noting of course that Apple has a separate podcast app which is why they don't have the podcasts integrated in Apple Music, even though you can still find some podcast elements within the Apple Music app, especially if you're fully updated to the latest version. Now, audio quality and price. Audio files, this is where things get interesting because before all the other comparisons that I've done, Apple has basically taken the crown effortlessly. But this time, both services offer high quality audio options. Apple has ALAC, which is Apple's lossless version, and Amazon has FLAC, which is the standard lossless version. Even Dolby Atmos tracks play nicely on Amazon. However, Apple Music charges extra for these bells and whistles, whereas Amazon Music includes them in the standard subscription. As far as I'm concerned, that makes that a win actually for Amazon. Price-wise, both platforms start at $9.99 a month, but Amazon Music sweetens the deal with inclusion in Prime membership. So if you're a Prime member, you may not know, but you already have Amazon Music. So for budget conscious music lovers, Amazon Music wins this round again. Now for the interface and features, my very favorite section. Apple Music shines with a clean and intuitive interface, making it easy to navigate and discover new music. It is a little bit clinical for some, but it is very efficient and effective. There's a lot of curated content that has been professionally done, and there's a vast array of choices to choose from. Amazon Music's interface can feel a little bit dated and cluttered in comparison, but once you get used to it, it's absolutely fine. It offers some cool features like personalized recommendations and stations based on your favorite artists. The stations are absolutely amazing. I can attest to that. Both platforms offer offline listening, of course, curated playlists and radio stations, making them neck and neck in the features department. Honestly, this is to your personal taste. If you like Apple's clinical interface, then that could be for you. If you're more of a geek, I think you might prefer the Amazon interface. Now, integration and ecosystem. Well, Apple seamlessly integrates with all of the Apple devices, right? The Apple ecosystem is pretty vast and ubiquitous. So an Apple iPhone, Apple Watch, iPad, your Mac, or even your HomePods will interface beautifully with your Apple Music. Amazon Music, on the other hand, shines on the Alexa devices and integrates with Fire tablets and Amazon smart speakers and any other device that has Alexa, which is quite ubiquitous too. Ultimately, this round depends on your preferred ecosystem and the stuff you already have. Apple users will love the tight integration, while Amazon device owners will appreciate the seamless playback on their favorite gadgets. It's worth noting though that, of course, Amazon's Alexa is also present in a lot of the Apple devices. So Amazon might edge another win in this one. Before I give you a verdict, it's worth noting some of the important points. Apple Music has over 90 million songs. Amazon Music has over 100 million songs. Actually, depending on where you look, sometimes it says 90 million for Apple Music, sometimes it says 100 million. But to be fair, it's so much music that hundreds of thousands of people can never listen to all of it in their lifetime. So there's sure to be enough music for one person 
for their lifetime on any of the platforms. Apple Music offers spatial audio with Dobly Atmos. Amazon Music offers live concerts and music videos. Apple Music is available in over 160 countries. So if your country is one of those, you're fine. Amazon Music is also available in over 200 countries. So they're both quite widely available. Now the verdict, well, as you can see, these two services are neck and neck. I think in my personal opinion that Amazon Music actually takes the win by a sliver. But you know, you can decide for yourself by testing them out. Both platforms offer a period of time where you can listen for free and have all the full features. In the description section, I'm leaving you a special link for Amazon to get a surprise number of free time on the Amazon Music platform. It's an affiliate link, of course, so I might get some commission if you decide to buy. If you've liked this comparison, of course, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.